senior role at Huge Design sort of came pretty early as compared to other you know journeys of a design professional. In two years, I was promoted to a senior role because my clients were constantly shocked to hear that oh, you know we can't believe that you're just a fresher in this job. This upgrade in my parent company, Huge, uh, was actually a namesake change because I was already working at a senior role with my clients. The kind of learning I've had. Uh, my demand for the kind of work I was getting at my client was also, you know, constantly I would ask for more process oriented work and I would not uh, just do interface. So I would ask them to give me projects which are more process oriented and that's why my clients were like, we want to keep you happy. So they gave like this entire year was leading a project from scratch where I had to plan research, plan timelines. I was given members, team members to lead and then it has been very fulfilling in seeing that work materialize into an actual application that the clients of clients really liked. So I'd say, you know, the term user experience. So here the users are actually humans. The core of humans everywhere is like same. So some level of user experience would, you know, the considerations we'll have at a psychological level for humans around the world would be similar. But then constraints and flavors of different context and demographics, as you said, are actually the thing that we're taught uh, to operate as well as designers. These are those constraints that add up a particular style or you know nuance to a project and that is why I think we're equipped to work with people from different demographics. Yeah, the, with experience it can get better. So the reason I picked up AND Academy has multiple layers. Uh, one would be that I'm an alumni of IIED and AND Academy coming out of IIED is also something it feels like that I'm giving back to the place I came from. Secondly, uh, you know, I've always felt like as UX designer, we were never taught, you know, UX nowadays is very digital oriented, like the end product would, it, would be digital. But for us, we were taught with UX as, you know, general problem solving and my orientation always went towards social problem solving. If I empower other designers who would do similar stuff, my impact would be more. And then thirdly, I've seen a lot of online courses. Uh, there have been calls to me to uh, teach a certain software to students in an online course. And, but the ideologies of AND actually align with IID, that they, the process, the projects, the grilling that it needs for a designer to become, you know, uh, handle the responsibility it is that was there in AND Academy even though there were shorter term courses so that's why aligning with AND Academy was a huge deal for me my senior position at my you know work work company has actually benefited from my role as a mentor because I understand leadership as a mentor more UX is one of the top, you know, professions in terms of financial return as well. Uh, it's also the basis of design thinking, according to me. Somebody who understands the basics of what design is would understand UX, you know, and understands that. And they teach UX as the core of design thinking and not just something which is, you know, digital and you go by the trends and learn a few softwares and you'll be a designer. They also have this foundation course where they teach you the basics of graphic design as well. The basics of, you know, artists who overlap with design as well. So, AND Academy would be a really great choice for new learners of UX and then, you know, they can get a taste of it from the short term course and if they want to enroll in a bigger program, they can do that as well.